Well, friends, welcome. And it's a pleasure again to talk to you about another tip on biometry. And this time the subject is, when the patient had a refractive surprise in the first eye, then how would you choose the IOL power for the second eye? And let's see what are some of the recent thoughts on this. So there has been some studies on this and since, uh, you know, this has, there, there has been some studies for the last 15 years, uh, notably by Olsen and, and till last year, there has been more papers on this subject. So let's consider this. The first eye biometry, nothing's unusual. The axial length is 23.5. The K1 and K2 readings are well within the, um, you know, the average values. The surgeon's choice of IUL for power, in this case, was 19 diopters. He chooses the first myopic, so minus 0.29. So that's the first myopic. The surgeon chose a 19 diopter IUL power in this case. And he turned out that it turned out that the patient had a plus one diopter of hypometropia, plus one diopter error, right? So now the question is, how would the surgeon choose the IOL power for the second eye? Well, to choose the IOL power for the second eye, let's consider what has been the error in the first eye, what has been the predicted error refractive error for the patient in the first eye and can we use that predicted refractive error to our advantage for predicting the IL power for the second eye. So for the predicted refractive error for the first eye, to understand the predicted refractive error of the first eye, it is the observed error, in this case it is plus one diopter, observed error minus the predicted value. So for the first eye, the predicted value was minus 0.29 with a 19 diopter of IOL. So the refractive error of the patient is observed error that is plus 1 minus minus 0.29. Again, plus 1 minus minus 0.29. So the, in this case, the predicted refractive error is 1.29. You might be thinking the Error is plus one diopter. Well, it is not just plus one diopter. You have to take into consideration what was the predicted value and what has the patient landed up with. What is the difference there? So the predicted refractive error in this case is 1.29. To consider the IUL power for the second I, you have to now take half of that predicted error. Half of the predicted error is in this case how much? It is half of 1.29, which is 0.64. So that is the value that you have to consider for your IUL power selection for the second eye. Now let's look in the next slide. How are we going to do that? So in the next slide here over here the, in the second eye, the patient, um, the surgeon, remember, his choice of IUL is always first dimetropia first myopia sorry so in this case it would have been again a 19 diopter IUL because that's the first myopic um, value minus 0.232 so if it didn't consider the first eye it would have been a 19 diopter which would have given him close to metropia but since we are now considering the first eye prediction error to take that into our advantage to have a better um, results for the second eye, it will be not 19 diopter now. You have to add the 0.64 to the 19 diopter friends. And therefore the IUL power will be 19.64 or 19.50 because we don't have a 19.64. So the IUL power could be 19.50 in this case. Where did this 0.64 come from? Well, in my last slide, I showed you take half of the prediction error. So in this case, half of 1.29 is 0.64, and you add that 0.64 to 19 that. Right. Thank you very much, friends, for your attention, for your time. Please follow quickguide.org for more such tips. Thank you.